Hey, Howard, did you see that? <gasps> I'm over here, Sheldon. That was a close one. I almost went home with that guy. Are you doing okay? Do we need to go? You no, know, I'm fine. I admit all these people did take me by surprise at first, but I've learned that I can accept change. Since when? I managed it when Amy switched her shampoo from Prell to Prell for oily hair. Although I do miss the way her head used to slide off the pillow. May I help you? Who are you? Oh, I'm Denise, the new assistant manager. Nope. But can you believe it? In the past decade, I have spent thousands of dollars in that store, and this is the thanks I get. You're right. I mean, he could at least get you a mug. He gave me a mug. What do you think I'm drinking out of? Do you even pay attention? Honestly, less and less. Amy, the comic book store is like my version of the country in Black Panther. Okay, I'm afraid this is gonna get really offensive to certain groups. The nation of Wakanda was a hidden gem, and they wanted to keep it that way because they knew if they opened it up to the world, everything that was special about it would get ruined. Are you done? Yes. Oh, okay. That both made sense and wasn't offensive. And to make things worse, Stuart hired some woman. There we go. I'm not annoyed that she's a woman. I'm annoyed, and she's a woman. No, I get that. I'm annoyed, and I'm a woman. Stuart knows my likes and dislikes, and I can count on his discretion if I pick up the occasional back issue of Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. Which I don't. Don't think of her as a stranger. Just think of her as a, a friend you haven't berated, lectured, or condescended to yet. I hadn't thought of it that way. You're welcome. You're wise, and you smell like books. <laughs> you really are the whole package. <laughs> just look at her over there. She just started, and she gets to put up staff pics. I've been coming here over 10 years. I still can't put up Sheldon dislikes. I talked to her yesterday. She really... Seems to know her stuff. Challenge accepted. That is not what that was. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could recommend something. Oh, sure. You want to tell me what you like? I would not. All right. Well, you're wearing a Green Lantern shirt, so I'm guessing you're a DC fan. Although that's from the Alan Scott era, so you're probably not super into the current run. How would you feel about an alternate history where World War I was fought with dragons and magic? That's what I wanted the theme of my 10th birthday party to be. Check this out. It's by Kurt Busiek. You know, if you're interested in alternate histories, Neil Gaiman wrote one called 1602. I'm sorry, we're in the middle of something here. It is pretty good, actually. He takes the Marvel superheroes and he puts them into Elizabethan England. Let me guess. Everyone thinks the X-Men are witches. Yeah. Why don't you take this home, and if you don't like it, return it, and I'll give you your money back. Just don't tell Stuart. Stuart who? 